In today's video, I'm going to be heading to Crate and Barrel to find a ton of holiday decor inspiration and then shopping at thrift stores to find dupes or very similar items for a lot less and styling them in my own home. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different. I am going to be thrifting. I miss thrifting so much. So I thought it'd be fun to do a Crate and Barrel dupes video obviously high-end home stores like crate and barrel like pottery barn and anthropology and all these places have amazing christmas decor even target like the hearth and home brand is obviously so adorable and it's very hard to walk through those sections and not want to buy every single thing but it adds up so quickly like the smallest little christmas trinket can cost a lot of money so we're gonna be saving some money by heading to the thrift store so we just got to crate and barrel get some inspiration and then head over to some thrift stores i drove all the way to the suburbs for this video today you guys so give this video a like leave me a comment let me know if you want me to do this again with like a different high-end store i think this could be a fun series to start i have high expectations to actually find some decent dupes okay they're obviously not gonna be exact dupes they're gonna be similar and inspired by these crate and barrel items but they're definitely gonna be a lot less I hope this video inspires you to try thrifting I might have to do a few little thrift flips little DIYs to maybe make it look more similar to the original but that's part of the fun and it's part of being creative and using your hands so I love it all. This stuff gets me excited. Okay, so let's head into Crate and Barrel and see what they have in season. Okay, I feel inspired. Let's head over to the thrift store. I went to a few Salvation Armies and Goodwill to find everything for this video. So one of the first things I always spot during the holidays are these snow covered houses. You can pretty much find them at every thrift store, but it's harder to find the plain white ones. I usually see these ones that are painted already. So I was pretty happy that I found a couple plain white ones. They reminded me of the ones over at Crate and Barrel, although those are more modern looking. These are a bit more traditional, but I figured I can make it work. Candle holders are a must for me during the holidays. It really sets the atmosphere. So I found these taper candle holders that reminded me of the same unique shape I saw of the ones at Crate and Barrel. I think with some black spray paint, these would look almost identical. I also grabbed these gold pillar candles and I was keeping my eye out for any reindeer shape candle holders, but I only saw these tree shaped tea light candle holders, which I grabbed since Crate and Barrel had so many like reindeer and tree shaped candle or holders. I thought some black spray paint would spruce them up. Okay, now that I got candle holders, let's move on to the candle section because thrift stores always carry these. You save way more money getting them here. Look at these gorgeous pillar candles. I love these pink ones. I kind of wish I got them. Obviously, they're not uh, Christmassy, but grabbing these green ones, which are an exact dupe for the crate and barrel ones with this color. Like I said, I was keeping my eye out for any unique holiday shaped candles. This isn't really fitting the theme but this thrift store had some interesting types of candles like these sandal candles <laughs> i didn't end up finding any reindeer tree candles but i did find this huge spiral pillar candle and i just love it and it kind of reminds me of a tree shape you know it's like bottom heavy and tapers out at the top if you squint really hard it kind of looks like a tree so i thought we can make it work i could probably carve a tree into there to be honest also don't snooze on the battery operated candle section because a lot of these are here i've been using these more now that i have kiddos so i grabbed a few tea lights because they're always going to be cheaper here and these were brand new, so I knew they would work. 
Okay, moving on to dinnerware. I noticed Crate and Barrel had a lot of this sage green colored plates. So I tried to find something similar at the thrift store, but the coloring just seemed off. So I also noticed Crate and Barrel had a lot of Christmas dinnerware that was just two Christmas colors on it with one repeating element all around. So I ended up finding these four dinner plates that kind of reminded me of that. It just had this repeating Christmas leaf pattern all around the edge and then very simple trees in the center. It's a little more traditional looking, but felt like it still reminded me of some of the dinnerware over at Crate and Barrel. I was seeing a lot of tree-shaped ramekins or small serving dishes at Crate and Barrel, and so I kept an eye out for them. I spotted this small glass one with a gold rim. It's like a little serving dish. I think it's so pretty and delicate. I could just put like some little peanuts in there or whatever and leave it out, as well as this. Um, it looks more like a soup mug with a bird on it, which was inspired by that partridge in a pear tree plate that I saw cute these vintage christmas plates are so cute but they're just not on theme so i had to pass up but there were so many of them but we're just gonna keep it moving as i was looking through this crazy packed shelf i stumbled upon these brand new glass globes that reminded me of the glass globes i saw a crate and barrel that just had like some simple christmas trinkets inside with fake snow and i thought that would be such a simple diy to do for this video so i grabbed them it was a set of four and i also saw this white berry wreath which crate and barrel carries the exact same one so i grabbed that too i always love these little globes but they're so old and like the water's yellowy and it just ruins it for me so i had to pass up on that i also kept an eye out for any faux florals so i can try to replicate some of the flower arrangements i saw on display throughout crate and barrel i grabbed these classic christmas poinsettias and then these dark stems with faux snow on it because those were all over crate and barrel I also headed over to the vase section to see if I can find any good vessels that remind me of the Crate and Barrel ones, but honestly, none of these were really looking right. So I passed up on them and figured I'd just use something from home. But this bird, the bird theme continues, did remind me of one of the vessels I saw at Crate and Barrel, although this isn't a vase. It kind of had a similar texture. It just feels like a little winter bird to me. So grab that. I found a few gold frames for an upcoming project I want to do with our childhood Christmas photos and then headed to the fabric section to see if I'd find any like napkins or tablecloths or blankets. I did find this white knit blanket, which was in good condition and also a red plaid one which i didn't film but both of these were inspired by crate and barrel throw blankets that look exactly the same next i headed over to find some books i could arrange as coffee table books and of course this is a huge money saver instead of buying expensive coffee table books from high-end stores you just take off the outside paper cover to see what the inside covers look like at the thrift store and then you have a gorgeous set of decor books so i found two that i thought went well with the color scheme okay after all that hunting here's everything i found so let's take a look at the prices of each individual item the exact crate and barrel inspiration piece and then how i style them in my own home for christmas let's begin with a few easy thrift flips first starting with these two christmas tree tea light candle holders i paid 99 cents for each and definitely wasn't an exact dupe for any particular item at crate and barrel but was inspired by the many many tree decor pieces they carried 12.95 being one of the least expensive and all i did was a quick coat of black spray paint and placed in the tea lights that i found from the thrift store and you can place them anywhere from your fireplace mantle to any cabinet or tabletop i just put them right here on this cabinet and jace actually loves it because he can reach them and grab the tea lights every night to turn them on the next dupe is this faux white berry wreath which i thrifted for 2.99 but clearly it's less full looking and smaller than the 30 inch one from cnb for 190 dollars wow that's a lot for a wreath obviously it's bigger and mine is only about 12 inches i did a little bit of pruning and tripped the cracked berries off first then removed the old ribbon that was originally on there and replaced it with this christmas red ribbon that i got off amazon i 
messed around with it until I liked the way that it looked. I really wanted a wreath to hang right above our keyboard and I love how it looks here. It's such a great thrift find for a fraction of the price with the same exact look. By the way, can we just give it up for all the color I'm using this year in my home? I was so inspired by Crate and Barrel because they use so many red and greens this season and I really wanted a more traditional Christmas look instead of neutrals on neutrals on neutrals, which I'm getting very bored of. So let's talk about the two blankets I thrifted. They cost $3.99 and $5.99 and were really similar to the white knit and the Christmas plaid blanket from C&B, which goes for $79.95. The quality of fabric was really good. I just had to give it a wash. The only thing is these were definitely not full size throw blankets and not as thick as I would have liked. I tried to style them with the pillows, how C&B had it all throughout their store, but because they were smaller, it just didn't look right. So I actually prefer to keep my red plaid one hanging on the chair to give it a pop of color. And then I use the white knit chunky one in my Christmas tree basket to add some more depth and texture. Next is a fun ornament DIY you can even do with your kiddos. So the glass globes and little trinkets I thrifted were all brand new, unused, still in their boxes for a total of $7 for four ornaments, while the similar C&B ornaments on the right are $8.95 each. Huge price difference for an almost exact look. All I did for this was use some cotton balls and like pull them apart, stretch them out as faux snow and place the trinkets inside. I did hot glue some of the trinkets to stay in place. I even used the Christmas string that came in the trinket box that I thrifted for the ornament strings. The kids love these. It's such an easy DIY and I can even switch it up every year if I wanted to place new little trinkets inside or paint the globes, whatever. I just love that I barely spent anything on this and it was fun to make. Let's move on to the faux botanicals that I thrifted. I paid $1.50 for each stem and I found two poinsettia stems and two crystallized branch stems. C&B does sell poinsettia stems, but it's with a pot. It's $129 for that full thing. And then they do sell individual faux crystallized stems similar to the ones I found for $19.95 a piece. When I was at Crate and Barrel, I saw a ton of these crystallized stems and also noted how their coffee tables were styled. Since I didn't end up thrifting a vase, I just used this white jug vase that I already had at home for the poinsettias. I also utilized the coffee table books I thrifted and I feel like this look is pretty similar to C&B. For the second look, I just swapped out the poinsettias for the crystallized branches and I thought it looked way more similar to the Crate and Barrel setup that I saw in the store. I was actually pretty obsessed with this look and loved the vase that was on display, but couldn't find any vase similar at the thrift store. But I did find the ceramic bird, which the texture really reminded me of that vase. I paid $1.99 for the bird. Meanwhile, the smallest size of this vase from Crate and Barrel cost $24.95. When I thrift for dupes or inspiration, I really try not to box myself into trying to find the exact item because realistically, you won't find an exact item. So I like to think really creatively on how I can achieve a similar look, even if the item isn't quite the same. These white ceramic holiday houses are one of the first things you'll notice in the holiday section on Crate and Barrel's website, ranging from $12.95 to $39.95 per house. I thrifted three of these for $1.99 each. I sell them on top of the mantle amongst the garland, just like they did. Two of my houses are way more traditional looking than their modern style, but I did find one more modern looking piece that was actually brand new and originally from Target. Another brand new Target find were these matte black reindeer I placed amongst the houses. I found a set of three for only $150, still brand new and in the packaging. Crate and Barrel sells a similar look for $12.95 a piece, although theirs are a lot taller starting at nine inches. Overall, the black reindeer against the white houses really reminded me of the mantle displays I kept seeing all over Crate and Barrel's website, and I think I achieved a very similar look for a whole lot less. Here's one more very easy but impactful thrift flip with those blue taper holders I thrifted. It just needed a coat of black spray paint to look extremely similar to the taper holders at CNB, which go for $22.99 a piece. While my thrifted ones were only $2.97 each. I love that curvy organic shape of the wood and was glad I found this similar style at the thrift store. Taper holders give me such a festive and romantic feeling, but we can't ignore these beautiful moss green taper candles that complete the holiday look. CNB sells a set of two of this exact color for $6.95. Meanwhile, I paid $0.99 cents for each thrifted one. I noticed they displayed it with some pears, so I added some to my dining table, and I'm pretty sure this is my favorite dupe of the whole video because it's just so similar to the CNB look, but also because of how festive and Christmassy it all feels. 
Next up is a few thrifted pieces I styled on the shelves. First is the brass pillar candle holders I thrifted at 99 cents each. This is definitely not an exact dupe, but inspired by the chunky pillar candle holders from CNB. Obviously, the finishes are different, but the shape is very similar. I bought these battery operated pillar candles from Amazon that I'm surprised I actually really love. Next is that chunky spiral wax candle. This was inspired by the many Christmas tree wax candles at CNB. My candle is huge and only cost $1.99. While their similar in height 8 inch Christmas candle at CNB is $15.95. Clearly, not an exact dupe, but another example of thinking outside the box when it comes to thrifting while still using Crate and Barrel as my main inspiration. I thrifted four dinnerware plates at $1 a piece, and similar to the CNB plates, I tried to find plates with red and green colors with repeating elements on it. Although the ones I found are a bit more traditional, I love the red and green theme, and I think these are so cute for a Christmas dinner or even just a treat plate for the kiddos. I saw a lot of tree-shaped platters and serving dishes and ramekins like these over at Crate and Barrel. They have a set of two for $9.95. I love the red and green dip trim, although I was only able to find this glass one with a gold rim at the thrift store for $3.99. I think it's so festive and delicate, and I like to put some little snacks in there or nuts and leave it out on the table. Price-wise, this was definitely a little more expensive than the other things I thrifted, but I liked it so much I couldn't pass it up. Remember that winter bird soup cup I thrifted? Well, here it is, and I was inspired to buy it because of all the partridge and bird items at CNB, particularly the 12 days of Christmas plates that I saw when I first walked in. These plates are actually no longer sold, and I bought the soup cup for only $1.99, and I think it's beautiful and has such a wintry feel with the snow falling, and I'm currently just using it to hold some cherry tomatoes above my sink. My other dishwashing companion is this adorable angel gourd. Yes, you heard me right. This is handcrafted out of gourd, like the fruit. <laughs> it still had a tag on it that said Meadowbrook Gourds. And when I looked into it, I saw that these gourds are selling for $30 to $70 a piece. And I only bought this for 99 cents. I'm obsessed with this little thing. I think it's so cute and we need to give it a name. So leave some ideas in the comments below. But I gravitated to it because it reminded me of some of the wooden Christmas decor at Crate and Bear with the very soft round features and the minimal facial details. This thrifted piece was just such a similar look for only a fraction of the price and it makes me so happy every time I see it with that cute little singing angel face. Okay friends, that is everything. Leave a comment and let me know what your favorite thrift dupe was. Make sure to hit that like button. It helps so much in the algorithm and I spent so much time filming and editing this video, although I loved every second of it. It was so much fun. So let me know too if you wanna see more of these. I hope everyone has an amazing, safe, and happy holiday, and I will see you guys in my next video.